finally got a turbocharger as big as my head. Wait, you reckon? If you see a rotary that's leaking, stand I'm more worried if it doesn't leak. Shout out the Titanic. That wasn't leak free. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited? Oh, so excited. <laughs> it's going to be plumbed back into the exhaust. It's illegal to vent our atmosphere. Yeah, we outside. would never do such a thing. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound hopefully, fingers crossed. The third time is the charm. My eyes are going blind right now. It's, it's painful. No! I think we're ready to go. Party time. Party time. Guys, we are back to another day here at MB Performance. We've got the RX7 because, guys, we're gonna do some monkey business to the car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Good to see you. I just remembered. Yeah, turbo. Yes. Give me one sec. Yeah. One sec. Yeah. It's time. Also, I completely forgot to show you guys this, but we have a new shipment for Concru. So, guys, stay tuned for that. But this isn't about Concru, this is about the F. E. <sighs> Guys, check it out. I'm not gonna show you too much, but this box right here, a new package, proudly supported by the legends over at Turbo Smart. Brendan, you guys are unreal. What'd you put in here, guys? So, the legends at Turbo Smart hooked it up with this build on the FDRX7, which is coming very soon. Matt's eagerly waiting to get started, so I'm gonna quickly <laughs> unbox this. I actually haven't seen what this looks like, so you and I are gonna see this. First hand. Yo, take a look at that. We got this little pro gate wastegate. Oh my god, it's so heavy. And we have a FPR6 black. Alrighty. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. That is sensational. Look at that. Alright, big turbo from Turbo Smart. Let's do it guys. What's this? Holy that is crazy! Okay, I've never actually gotten or even done a turbo kit in my entire life, so this is the first. What a way to be uh, thrown into the deep end, Turbo Smart. Yes! <laughs> Chop this off. Voila. Yo, that is a crazy factory T51R mod. So this is the 6466. Really good size turbo for someone that's looking for a bit of response. Also capable of making up to 900 horsepower from standard. So this has all the latest tech from 2024 and onwards. The head designer of actually Turbo Smart is from Precision and these are made out here in Australia. So wow, that is beautiful. That's good. Let's get it on. Hey brother, nice to meet you. Guys, this is the man Huss. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Are you, you ready? Man. Yeah, man. What okay. do you reckon? Suits ya. Suits <laughs> Huss has one of the craziest FDs in the game. So oh, don't say that. I can't wait to see it, man. No, How much no. power do you make? Not enough. No, it's no. never enough. I think it's like a thousand, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's safe to say I finally got a turbocharger that is as big as my head. Let's check it out for size. What do you reckon? You think it'll suit? Let us know. So that yeah. is a Borg Warner S366, which is 10 years old, roughly. Oh, Journal bearing. Up to speed. Yeah, 100%. It looks ancient. <laughs> hey, you had fun with it. Yeah, it, oh, man, it goes good, <laughs> right? So what's the difference in terms of journal bearing and ball bearing in terms of performance? So obviously with ball bearing, you have a little bit faster spool, a little okay. bit more reliability. Uh -huh. With journal bearing, they're usually only oil cooled and oil fed. They come in two versions, okay. oil cooled and water cooled. Okay. 
see how this one goes, eh? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Never thought we'd do this thing to the car, honestly. It uh, yeah, blows my mind still to think we're going Peak Turbo, working with you, Matt, Turbo Smart, Raceworks, and all you guys. Like, this is out of my dreams. So 100%. I can't wait to see it, man. 100%. So, honestly, have a look at that, guys. Like, that turbocharger. It's definitely seen some better days. It's still made freaking crazy power, and it sounds insane. But... Oh. And there's one more box, actually. So, uh, Raceworks. Where does this fit in the car? It doesn't. This is, uh, <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Massive shout out to Raceworks for absolutely killing this. Every single part that we needed, all the fixtures, all the fittings, for the E85 that we're gonna be going. Oh, yeah, was that E85? Shout out Raceworks. Good idea. <laughs> that excited? Oh, so excited. <laughs> so, is it true that you need to drive your car every twice a week to become E85, or is it something that you can kind of like? Look, I'll be honest in saying that E85 is a little bit more tedious in terms of having to take care of things, okay. but that, that doesn't mean it's not troublesome. Realistically, if you, because you're going flex fuel, yeah. It would be ideal to run maybe 98 once every two weeks or okay. something like that, just to clean out the oh, system. Really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Just drive your car. Oh, look, I'll be honest. Everyone that said they're gonna go flex fuel, once they go E85, they never, never go back. <laughs> Is that right, Matt? Never, <laughs> never. I said the same thing. Even on the bike. I don't even have a flex yeah. sensor. No way. <laughs> Save money. Save money. Save money, guys. Yeah. Hey, E85 is good for the environment. There you go, head of your first. <laughs> We're saving the environment That's one step at a time. Motor division. If you guys want a sticker, we can put it in every single concrete purchase. So, guys, make sure you put an order through. You know what, we could sign each of them. Well, that's what the pen's for. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow, look at that. Old school. It's a boy. Oh, let's compare it. <laughs> compare the pair. Which one do you think is bigger? Oh, wow. That's gigantic. Not bad, huh? Well, oh, compared. but it goes that way. Yeah. So th that's what Matt was talking about. So he's going to be okay. welding an elbow. So okay. it joins up to your okay, existing exactly. setup. That's yeah. a factory elbow turbo. Like yeah, that? that's right. Yeah, because you got to remember these, you know, SXC models and whatnot, they were designed yeah. for diesel trucks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And rotaries, apparently. And rotaries, apparently. Yeah. Wow. You always find a, a, a better use for things. 100%. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. The tech and that. The bins. <laughs> That's how small that turbo is. Oh, but it's not about the size. It's about the ocean of the motion. The ocean of the ocean. The ocean, of the ocean. <laughs> that is a tight fit. It's not tight, it ain't right. I'm not sure. It looks it looks custom this one. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, it's good. By the way, there's a hidden clause in me doing this work for you. You have to bring your car to Rotary Revival next year. Yeah. Okay, pal. Oh, no, that's on video, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Revival. That's a long time away, man. But nah, you said it now. You gotta come. Yeah. This is the exhaust manifold gaskets, as you can see. See where there's a little bit more soot. That's where obviously it wasn't sitting flat, okay. and it, the, it was boost leaking out of it. A manifold gasket. Wow. See how this is like nice and yeah, like that. Yeah. Because it's sealing. The only time you should see some, you know, soot or carbon is just around the middle, because that's where it's actually yeah. um, coming out of the motor. You can see on this side it's leaking out a little bit. So if we fix that, we get a bit good. more boost, a bit more response. 100%. Yeah, and that's what it's about. 700 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been in them cars, bro. <laughs> you've been rebuilt. <laughs> no, brother. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not yeah. entirely sure about the internals of this engine. So Yeah, right. I, I personally would like to veer on the side of caution okay. because I want you to enjoy this again. I want you to be able to drive to Melbourne and back as many yeah. times as you need to and okay. not worry about Perfect. it. Perfect. We're not going to drive this back to Melbourne ever again. <laughs> I've actually never driven this car on high boost. You should feel that first well, and, then, and then we'll work. Too it. late. <laughs> <laughs> Saw in your comments people were bothering you about pre-mixing. Yeah, what's that? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> so. From factory, these cars come with like a little metering pump, oil metering pump on yep. the side of the motor just there. And what that does is it sucks out oil from the sump okay. and it injects it into the engine. You don't need to pre-mix if you still have that. But and we is, have that. And you have that. So, but it is a good idea to always keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on your oil level because sure, obviously yeah. if it's using oil, yeah. you have to top it up. But I would advise if you plan on hammering the car, yeah. just a little bit of pre-mix in the tank. Okay. Not too much, okay. just a little bit. If you see a rotor that's leaking oil, it's standard. I'm more worried if it doesn't leak oil. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's got none, that's right. Just for your information as well, yeah. even the most expensive cars still use zip ties, okay? <laughs> Trust me. So you said the, the coolant was coming from around here? Yes, and so between my tires here on the floor, where does it typically leak? Oh, look, actually, you can see here. Can you see just at the bottom of that hose there? Oh, yeah. Luckily, it's nothing too major. 
But just to be on the safe side, I think um, we'll, we'll still do a pressure test just to make sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. definitely. Otherwise, yeah. it's pretty leak free. Yeah, man. Shout out the Titanic. Titanic? Yeah, because that wasn't leak free. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another day out here in paradise. We have made it to MB performance yet again, but we got a few more goodies. Hey brother, how are you? Good man, self. Good man, how's the game? game are you playing, Huss? The Haltech game. The Haltech game, see ya. Nice got you guys some food? Oh, thank you so much. We got you guys some food too. Yeah. <laughs> brother! <laughs> try this no, one? No, no, yeah, no. It'll be a good first time. Do you time. like uh, Tawuk wraps? Yeah, man. I'm never tried. Half Tawuk. <laughs> How's everything going? Yeah, yeah going good, 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 well. Good, yeah? It's up in the air at the moment, but um, once I'll it's down... It yeah. yeah, for sure. What have you uh, inserted? <laughs> Not Tawuk. <laughs> Not Tawuk. <laughs> We've taken care of the fuel system. Okay. Um, so that's Perfect. all updated now. Oh, nice. All the new lines are in. Wow, uh, already? Yeah, yeah. We've um, mocked up the turbo just for you to see at the moment. Oh, my God. That yeah. is crazy. That's a great fitment. Not too big, just the right size. That's right. We're just seeing the best way to route it to the intercooler. So. Yeah. But yeah, it's wow. Like I'm so it's got some completely updated um, fuel routing and all new lines. So I'm using wow. the spinnings and the, the heat sleeving on everything. Yep. And it'll be a lot more reliable because and the old one was like a rubber style. Yes. This is all sure. PTFE, so it's, it's rated for ethanol. Yes. Rated for supportive. everything in between. And I've made it so if you remember. A lot neater. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of loops and stuff going on. Yeah. No more fires or anything. No, no, no fires, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, none of that. We're at the stage where uh, I can do his magic now, so. I can't wait to see it, man. Please enjoy the food. Thank you so much. Kick back really and then we'll uh, get, keep going. Yep, thank you. No, thank, thank you for the pizzas as well. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate <laughs> it. We're good around here, That's bro. it, man. That's the way. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank yeah, you. cheers. <laughs> this is the one that came out of your old waistcoat. I don't know what happened to that. So short. So it's supposed what? to look like this. Oh, wow. We're going to rotate. We're also going to do some chopping and everything when the space is in. Yep. But we're going to end up something like this. Damn. More or less. Whichever orientation works best. That looks good. But yeah, that'll be modified. Why were we? On camera. Yep. Nice. Just making sure nothing hits. I really like um, where the, the turbo yeah. smart reg is now as well. Because you can see it, you can still reach your oil filter. Bit of bling. Bit of bling. So this is uh, a section of the plumb back wastegate. So once this downpipe is made, we're obviously, we're going to come from the wastegate. Yes. And it's going to be plumbed back into the exhaust for legal reasons. It's illegal to vent our atmosphere. And, and also, we would never do such a thing. Nah, everything's legal. This will get welded here. Okay so that your wastegate can plumb straight back into the exhaust. I've put a V-band here so that if you wanted to vent the atmosphere, screamer. Yeah. On track. On track. In yeah, Mexico. Of yeah, in Mexico. You let me know if my beat catches fire, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So, what happens if you uh, make a cut that's the wrong cut? Uh, grab a new piece to start again. Yeah, <laughs> All your you hard know, work would be gone then. Oh, essentially, yeah. You should always allow for extra material. You're the weakest link. When it comes to the Haltech software, it is quite powerful and very friendly to use. So, we just work our way through the navigation tree. Um, the benefit being that we can actually access the map even without you know plugging into the car and get it ready okay and then when we're ready to use it we can just upload it to the car okay. this is your air fuel target map at the moment um it's based off the the base map um but obviously we'll dial it in and see what the car likes and go from there awesome okay. sounds good a nice touch to hide the the age but yeah we're gonna go raw no heat wrap just straight stainless steel this looks so good look at that with the new turbo smart pro gate 
50 in the house. Oh, that looks good already. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Prints. If oh, you don't get them off now and that warms up, they'll stay on. Forever? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you clean it all, get all the oils off before it heats oh, up. Oh, I've been touching it everywhere. Oh, no, that's all right. But... Oh, you, you were trying to touch it. <laughs> Guys, keep your fingers to yourself. Don't touch my pipes. So I just want to say guys, my car is filthy right now. It was caught in the rain. This entire weekend out here in Sydney has been horrible weather, as you can tell. How are you, man? Hey, bro, how are you? Good to see you, bro. How, how you are doing? you, brother? <laughs> my man. And Matt, how, how are, are you, bro? What are we up to today? Just fixing the turbo manifold. It's steamy. Uh, it's a bit hot from drilling. Unfortunately, the turbo manifold had a small leak, so we're just going to modify that, get, oh, it, get okay. it back on. This is just a spacer that we had to to ensure the turbo fitment. Okay, right, so there was a little turbo leak situation. Yes, well, we okay. had it all almost ready to go. Um, so no! Like... We'll have a look at how it all looks right now. Man, it's almost together, guys. It's crazy, crazy. So you can see that they've already welded the elbow onto the turbo spot there. So unfortunately, the manifold that was already there, the yeah. existing manifold, the position wasn't the best. Okay. And um, there was previous leaks. Everything was okay, but there was a small exhaust leak. Now. If you want to make the most of your new turbo, we're going to do our best to make it uh, proper. Hopefully there's no more unreliable issues with this rotary, but uh, <laughs> fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> if they're reliable, don't listen to him. <laughs> we'll find out. Changing man. What about Toyotas? They're super reliable. That's the poster child of reliability, but you know what? If it's, if it's, if it's got reliability problems, that means it's probably going to be more fun. That's true. Think about it that way. Unreliable. <laughs> Oh, is that sound wrong? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Cut the clip. So basically what's happened guys is that we have just reused the original gaskets for the manifold to connect towards the engine. So because of that, they're a little bit worn and we need to replace them. We thought it'd be all right to just run it. But I guess whilst we're there, let's just change everything. You can hear there's a little bit of a exhaust leak, turbo leak. That's what's making that little rattle situation. It's not the port, nothing's wrong with that. We want to make sure there's none of that whilst we're pushing this car to the limits with the new turbo smart turbo. We're just trying to find out if there are any more leaks or things associated with that. So you guys can already see, we've got the new dump, new wastegate, turbo smart turbo all there. It's not meant to sound exactly like that, so... Just killed it, and the uh, turbo wheel is spinning. Spinning all day. A few moments later... We just basically ripped off the whole thing, put it back on, retensioned everything, yeah. And now we are going to do our third start. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the third time is the charm, so that we can get this thing on the road, street testing, street tuning, and all the rest of it. So guys... <laughs> Brother, let's go! We're in business! Should we open the exhaust flap? Yeah, let's do it! Alright, we're back! Much better. That is purring like a kitten. No rev? Yeah, go brother! That is killer! Turbo smart! We're gonna hit the stream real soon! are going fine right now. It's, it's painful. So what's the rent line going to be at? Um, you paid for the whole tech, so we'll give you the whole tech. 9,000 <laughs> RPM? We'll go maybe around 8,500. 8, 8,500? That is going to be sick. Okay. Oh. Wow. That was... Mental. Okay, so that's a little taste of what is to come. Let's go, guys! Come, come, come! Awesome! Wow! Take a look at that. That right there is a big turbo smart. Purring away, yeah? We do a little pull. I think my ears are 
ears are hurting. But you did a killer job, guys. Wow. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much. Thanks for the opportunity. No, thank you, man. I guess it's time we uh, take it for a little street tip, would you say? Yeah, just a, a street tickle. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Guys, this is going to be my very first drive. The RX-7 with the new big turbo from TurboSmart. 6466. This is going to be crazy. Let's go. Haven't been in here in a while. <laughs> no place like home. No place like home. I'm sure you feel quite at home in this car as well. Something like that. Very similar to your beast. <laughs> what are we working with right we'll now? We'll get it dialed in on uh, 98. Okay, so guys, straight 98 for the time being. This car is capable of hitting. Oh, I think it'll be comfortable around 14 to 16 or 98, and oh. then on the 85, maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah, nuts. Yeah, but I think with the new turbo, you won't need as much. <laughs> yeah, literally. With the, with the way it's ripping, so. But we'll make the most out of it. Okay, perfect, man. So you got us playing with the figures right now, doing his magic. Huss the magician. All right, then we'll go another lap. Okay, another lap. Yeah. All right. I just took one look at you. 
It is time for our first ride with the FD on our own. We're going to be leaving us and Matt. Goodbye, guys. See you, mate. Goodbye, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, here goes nothing. We've got Kenny following us as well in the Tucson. Shout out to Hyundai as well. Absolutely legends. All right, guys, we're going for our first and maiden voyage in the FD RX-7. There are still a few things that we need to dial in with the car over the next few days but for now we have to head to our next destination because we're gonna make this car look absolutely brand spanking new with my boys over at Pioneer Detailing and Polishing. Abs, you're a man. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> what the f is going on? How is this my car right now? You've gotta be kidding me. Matt, Haas, Turbo Smart and Raceworks with this new turbocharger, the 6466, the 1.0 rear housing. This thing is absolutely ballistic. It's only sitting on 10 PSI. We're just getting it dialed in. We haven't even gone on the dyno yet. And already this thing is ridiculous.
need to, I need to pull over. I think my bonnet's not shut properly. He looked like he was about to snap open. That was scary. Oh my god, it wasn't properly shut. Properly. He was a shot properly. What happened? Huh? He was a shot properly. Can you help us? He was going like this. That would have been a okay. As, lo as long as as long as nothing internally happened, I'm no, all no, good. No, 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 no. It's all good. Let's get back in. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that could have been absolutely catastrophic. But we're gonna continue my journey. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. I saw the bonnet literally going up and down. I don't know if you guys probably saw it, but yeah, we didn't we didn't really press it. We were too busy. <laughs> oh my god. All good bro? Good to see you bro, it's been a freaking minute, man. Good brother. Finally. We made it guys, we're here at Pioneer Detailing. Let's go out and check this place out. Right. Good to see you my man. You, guys, this is Abs. Hey man, what's going on? He does the killer stuff with car uh, detailing. You already know, you can already tell. No, you already know, man. you already know. Bro, this car needs one so bad. No, you brought it to the right place. Can't wait man, it's good to have you on camera. Man, thank you very Abs much. Abs have man. done a killer shot shooting. Dilhan and Tamna's M3, that was sick. That was me, the steady hands is me. That was him behind the camera and now He's the guy in front of the camera. Now we're gonna show you why I got the steady hand. Guys, let's go, man. Oh, she did his turbo stuff. Alright, let's have a look. Let's see. So we just set it up? Yep. Let's go, brother. Yeah, so you can see everything looks a little bit worn now. Right. It's been a. Well, you've like brought it to the right person. Yeah. I'll tell, I'll tell you what that. are we gonna do with it, man? Everything that needs to be polished up again. Dang. Paint work definitely is gonna need a paint correction. Yeah. As, it, soon, as, a, as soon as you pulled up on what? Smells galore, yeah. we gotta get rid of that for you. The interior, if you want to steam clean it, we'll steam clean that for you as well. I think that'll be. That's just gonna give you that nice, fresh feel. New car feel. That new car feel. I wanna drive it in looking like this and, and you drive, drive it out. looking like a brand new car. That's it. Thanks to you guys, man. Nah, man. That's just you here, yeah? Just me, yeah. You do all so the work yourself. I'll do most of the work. My brother does help me out sometimes from time to time. Perfect. Um, shout out to him. And shout, shout out. out to all the other boys that come in, in and out when they're coming to hang out and I make them help uh, work with me. So it's all good. Killer, man. That's your car? That's my car. That's the toughest car that's getting really picked up today. I was gonna say, you have the craziest. Yeah. Crazy slang cruiser. Yeah. Slang cruiser, patrol, yeah? Patrol, patrol, patrol. Patrol, patrol. 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 Just sitting outside. Just what is it? This thing is a Dubai special. Ain't that right? Look at that. That's a little bit suspect right I here. wanted the whole Dubai vibe. I wasn't really around here in, uh, especially this. Is that around. you? Nah, that's Mr. Shampoo. Who's that? Um, is that a meme? It's a meme, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I've shampoo. never seen that before, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. How haven't you seen it then? You haven't is been in the area for long. I'll, I'll pull it out. We'll pull it out and watch it. I'll pull it out. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> right, that's, that's all part of the Dubai limiter bashing experience. Alright, so you're going to wear that when you hand this car over. I will. I will. Don't well, worry. Uh, let's do it. Well, I forgot to show you. This is the damage that came 